Hello friends, today we are going to check the stability of given truss or we can say that the degree of redundancy. Now we are taking three different examples of the truss in which figure number one indicates one simple truss having both the support as a hinge support. So for the stability criteria, we have to first calculate the numbers of reactions as the hinge support. There are two reactions are vertical and horizontal as well as at the second support also two reactions are available so total numbers of reaction which is indicated by capital R which is 2 plus 2 as a first and second joint so total numbers of reaction are 4 now small r means numbers of equilibrium condition available and for the plant trust there are three numbers of equilibrium equations which are sigma h equal to 0 sigma v equal to 0 and sigma moment at any location equal to 0. So total numbers of equilibrium conditions are 3. Now third thing we have to calculate is numbers of member which is indicated by small m and going from the left to right total number of member is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at the periphery, 7 and 8 which are vertical, 9 and 10 is a cross member. So total numbers of member is 10. Now observe this point is not the considered as a joint. We are taking wall member individually. So total numbers of member is 10. Now we are going to calculate the joint which is indicated by small j. So from left to right it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So total numbers of joint is 6. Now according to the equation the degree of static indeterminacy is calculated by equation dse as a external stability plus dsi as a internal stability and we know that our dse it means external stability will be calculated by equation capital r minus small r so for this condition our capital r value is 4 and numbers of equilibrium condition is 3 so total value is 1 this value 1 indicates that we have to select one as a degree of redundancy or we can say that we have to remove one reaction which is excess of three equilibrium condition. Similarly, if we calculated the value of TSI and for the plant truss, our equation is small m plus small r minus two times the joint. Now m is calculated as a 10, small r which is three minus two times 6 as a joint. Now solving this value we will have here also the value of DSI it means internal statically indeterminacy is 1. This indicates that we have to take one member as a redundant or we can say that degree of redundancy for this truss is 1 for external as well as internal. Now if we take this intermediate point as a joint and if we calculated the stability using this joint then our numbers of member will be increased and the member is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So instead of 10 member we have 2 members extra if we take the joint as an internal as well as the joint is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we have 7 joint instead of 6. Now capital R as a number of reaction is as it is as a 4 and small r is 3. So in this case also we have DSE as a 1 but our value for DSI will be changed or maybe it is equal and the equation is same as a m plus r minus 2j. Now here m value is 12, r is 3 minus 2 times numbers of joint as a 7. Now if we calculate this value then we will have DSI as a 1. Now observing both the value in both case we got same answer and for this truss or we can say that the truss for the figure number 1 our degree of redundancy is 1 for external as well as internal. Now going for the second figure if we calculate the member then total outer member is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 1 is horizontal as a 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 as a incline. So total member is 11. 
Now, if we calculate the joint, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 joints are there. Now, reaction is 2 for the left hand side hinge and 2 for the right hand side hinge. So, total reaction is 4 and number of equilibrium condition is 3 for the plant truss. Now, if we calculate DSE value as an external stability, then it is as a R minus small r. Now, capital R value is 4, small r value is 3. So, our DSE value is 1, which is greater than 0. So, in this case, one value indicates that we have to select one redundant reaction. Now, if we calculate the value of DSI as an internal stability, which is M plus R minus 2J. Now, our numbers of member is 11. Numbers of equilibrium condition is 3. And joints are 6. Now, calculating this value, we have DSI as a 2. This value indicates that we have to select two member as a redundant for this figure. Now, going for the third figure of the given truss as. Now, if we calculate a reaction first, then at hinge support, there are two reactions. And for roller, it is one for each roller. So, that numbers of reaction is 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 as a 6. Number of equilibrium condition is 3. Now, going for the member, for outer periphery, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 9, 10, 11. So, total numbers of member is 11. Now, calculating the joints, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, number of joint is 7. Now, in this case, if we calculate the value of DSE, then it is as capital R minus small r as a 3. It means that we have to select 3 reaction as a redundant. And for DSI, our value is we will have the DSI as a 0. It means this structure is internally stable as well as determinate. It means we do not have to select any redundant member for the calculation of internal forces. But we have to select three reaction as a redundant. So, thus we can calculate the stability of the truss using these two equation and calculating number of member and number of joints. Thank you.